One really cool way to use perplexity is to ask it to go and do some research on, in this case, we're going to use an example like um, some sort of stock analysis, you know, do some quick research on how NVIDIA performed last quarter, and then summarize any key points and then write an email to my boss, Jeff. So when we initiate this prompt, what it's going to do is go back, look, it might give you something like this every now and then it has um, issues where it's saying, you know, hey, I don't have access to certain data. But if I click on a suggested query like this, like how has it been performing recently, I will get this data. So just keep prompting if anything like that comes through. And what you can do is you can say, great, now can you format this into an email for my boss, Jeff? So when you ask it for something like this, you say, can you write the email? Um, I had to say, hey, can you write the email in a more professional sounding tone? We finally get something like this. And so we, we get an actual email that's asking, you know, hey, do you require any additional information? Um, thanks for your attention, dear Jeff. Overall, the benefit of doing something like this is that you really combine two tasks, doing the research and writing the email. For another example, we could say, can you do some research on which software would be best for our company to use for geospatial data storage? And I'll say, can you find out if Excel or a GIS would be better? With your findings, write an email. And when we get this prompt, um, it's, it's aligning all of its research into the email to say, after cons careful considerations, evident that the GIS software would be the superior choice over Excel, right? And so this is kind of a, uh, got you for people who kind of know this world, but this is this is literally like if you have an organization you're trying to find some sort of answer, you can just say, "Hey, perplexity, go search for me, and then format all the information that you find, and then create that, uh, create that you know that research, compile it into a email that I can then distribute to my coworkers." So this is a really powerful combination of two features that we've probably seen within things like chat gpt that we now have within the power of a search engine and overall i hope that this was a really helpful tip for you if you like this video go ahead throw it a like hit the bell notification so you can get all of my updates on topics like this and thanks so much for watching